going on YouTube? Gillo 78 RC World here coming at you with another video. That's right, we're sitting here, we're working on a workbench here, guys. Uh, we have a new project sitting on the table here. Um, this is actually a truck you guys would recognize if it had this body on it. This is my Jeep. You guys have seen that in a few videos. Um, we're giving it a facelift. Uh, facelift, and we're going to change the motor and the ESC stuff out and improve this rig and see what we can do with it for this year. Um, I'm going to call this project uh, Project F350. Um, as you guys all would know, this is the front cab of a Tamiya F350 uh, body. It's just the front cab. I have the rear bed, but I want to do something different. So, anyways, I have my uh, front mounts mounted in the front, which I had messed up. I'll show you guys in a close up, uh, which that's what makes Bondo so awesome. You kind of fill in the hard bodies and uh, can make these hard bodies last a long time. So, that's why I kind of really doubt doing the hard body stuff lately. Uh, uh, back cage here, just to uh, go on some subject here. Everybody should know what this back cage was. This is actually off of a, um, a honcho. It's a honcho back cage. Uh, here's the actual back part of the bed that was on it. Um, I ripped this off. Reasoning being is it's not going to work with what I'm doing with it because this hard body uh, is actually shorter than what the Lexan body is. So my body mount posts that actually mount here aren't going to reach right. They actually sit more in this area, which will lift the body up, you know, lift the cage up too high. So we took this out. We're not going to use it. I uh, picked up a uh, piece of Lexan at a local hobby store. Um, so it's like I said, I'm, well, I'm going to mount it basically inside here on the first level. So the whole thing is going to be one upper level instead of sinking down for the spare. I may do something different on mounting the spare. I just haven't decided on how I actually want to do that yet. Um, but there's one part that we're using. I think it's really cool. Um, also on this truck, I'll probably be removing the front bumper because the Tamiya hard body has its own bumper, so we'll probably go ahead and still use this. Um, we'll see as the project goes. I mean, I guess it doesn't look too bad with the rubber bumper in the front, but we'll see how everything uh, comes together. Um, now hard body. Um, I'm thinking of uh, painting the whole truck a blue color. Um, and then probably just doing like a light sanding to the body because I want to make it look old. I don't want the paint to look new on this one. Um, so I want the paint to have an old look. So we'll probably give it a light sanding. And uh, maybe primer the fender. Uh, do some other primers. Rear quarter, quarter panel. Excuse me. Um, to kind of give it that work truck look that I'm kind of trying to look for here. Um, this rig here is also going to pull my uh, upcoming video, uh, quote unquote trailer. Um, I have a trailer that was made, very nice looking trailer. I will try to get that up here on video here soon. But uh, this rig will be getting a trailer put on it, from, I'm sorry, a hitch put on it to pull the trailer. Um, to uh, pull our awesome truck sitting right there, everybody knows that truck. Finder 2. Um, so uh, the electronics that I have planned to put in this rig, um, I got these off of a buddy of mine. Really good deal. Um, it's the uh, FX Tekken. It's a good decent close up on that. Everybody knows these ESCs. Um, and then motor, I'm not totally for sure if I'm going to use this. I will try it. Um, it may be too slow for what I like. I like my crawlers to have some speed and torque, because if I can't make it up a crawl, I'd rather have a little power behind that so I can make it up a crawl. But uh, this is a Tekken T35 Heavy Duty motor. Um, these only have maybe, if I'm, if I'm guessing right, maybe 15 minutes of run time on it. I mean, this stuff is still practically brand new. 
So uh, those are going in the rig. Um, the servo guys, uh, if I had to tell you what servo is, I, to be honest with you, could not. It is unnamed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the servo is an unnamed servo, but we're still running it. Because it's in there, and I'm going to wait till it burns up. Why replace something that's not broke? Alright, guys. So, uh, here's the truck. Up close and personal. And a lot of you guys have asked. Those are 100 millimeter um, shots. They're just your cheap uh, Chinese on eBay. Um, I actually personally myself, I love these shocks. Uh, they got, the way I set them up, I give them with a lot of bounce, which is great for video. Um, if you slow it down, you get that really nice, you can get that, it looks like a realistic truck with its full bounce. So, of course, stock Axial rims and tires. Um, these tires here I really do like. They have great bite to them. Of course, these here need to be cleaned. Um, I probably might go with something different, maybe some uh, bead locks, I don't know yet, but for now we're going to leave these tires on it, because they do hook up and work well. Okay, I do a quick pan around here, here's our Tamiya hard body, um, a lot of you guys are probably noticing this, that is my spot for my mirror, I do have mirrors, the uh, mirrors that came on this truck were plastic and they had accidentally, they uh, on shipping, broke. Um, so I went ahead and bought and ordered the uh, rubber flex mirrors that I'm going to put on this rig. And again, it's nice because they sit sink right into place. And uh, that's awesome. So we're doing the rubber mirror effect. Um, as I was telling you guys, I made my holes here at the top. Um, and I goofed and put my holes up too forward too much and uh, my wheelbase didn't line up so I had to uh, go ahead and do that. But the nice thing about this is a little bondo will cover those holes right up and uh, clear it up. Um, here too, that hole needs to be sealed with some bondo. I got uh, two holes down here which are mounting holes for a different truck and this hole right here. Um, these three holes are all on this other side too as the same which all those will get filled with Bondo. Um, that should be my next video is uh, Bondoing up and prepping and getting the body sanded for and getting it prepped for paint. But uh, anyways let me go ahead and slap the cage on here you guys so you guys can see. Um, now again guys this is just setting on here it's not fully mounted, it's just resting. So, um, right now I know you guys are looking at this saying, man, Yellows, what are you going to do with that overhang? Um, obviously, I'm gonna, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is this screw here, I will take out on both sides of the truck. Um, and uh, there's a little nipple here on the part of the piece that this screws to, which holds this back, back brace. A lot of you guys that are putting these together, taking these apart, well, obviously know that, but uh, there's a little nipple here. I'm going to probably shave that nipple off because this will actually sit here because I'm planning on taking the screw out. And I will move this screw up to this hole position, cut the frame back, which should about get me level exactly where I want to be to uh, making this look a lot better and uh, cleaning it up. Um, like I said, I'm planning on purchasing a hitch system, if not trying to make my own. I haven't figured that out yet on what I really want to do on that aspect but uh, yeah it's, uh, like I said it's looking really really good I'm really really happy with it um, also too it's been upgraded to a, a four link system um, these bars here the metal I'm actually going to make a set for here I bought the tubing and stuff that I needed to make it I just need to get a few more things that I need to uh, finish the uh, four-link system on the rig itself. Um, up front is still three-link. You guys can see that. It's still original uh, three-link setup, which I'm thinking again of changing that 
and maybe turning the front into a full link system too. If it can be done, I'm not even really for sure on that, but uh, we'll see. Uh, rear bumper. I don't know if that's staying on or not. Um, it may or it may not, depending on how the hitch system that I want to do on this and how I actually do it to if it's going to stay or not. Um, pan around here to the front of the truck. Again, guys, you should see that. The front bumper, I, again, I'm not totally for sure if I want to keep that on there. I mean, yes, it does, does it look half bad, but uh, I do think that the front original bumper for the body would look pretty good on there, too. Um, yeah, I mean, the project, like I said, I'm really excited about this project. I'm calling this project F350. So, uh, Hopefully I can kick up a bunch of videos for this and really uh, make this truck look badass. That's kind of my goal. So guys, now that you've gotten a good close-up of the truck, um, also too, I think my uh, Lexan cutout will probably be painted silver or gold. Or not gold, I'm sorry. Will be painted silver or chrome to uh, try to bring it looking like diamond plate again. Um, We'll see how that goes as we uh, come along here with the project. Um, the next video that I should be pushing out will be the uh, Bondo work on the body. Um, that ought to be mighty interesting. Uh, being as I've never done Bondo before, uh, so it's going to be a new journey <laughs> on the uh, Bondoing situation. So we'll see how that goes. So. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that subscribe button because uh, who knows how the next video may go. But uh, you guys won't know if you don't hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you thumbs it up. Uh, please, guys, if you would, share the video. Um, let's uh, let's get these videos popping. Let's try to pull in some more subscribers. And uh, thanks for the subscribers that I do have. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll check you all later. Peace. Make sure you subscribe for more RC action to come your way.